That was just fine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight uh, on the Music Faucet, this WFMU's live music program, we have uh, two very wonderful combos. Greg Trooper and his illustrious accompanists, Abel Dominguez and Greg Shirley. And also late, later in the program, we have Clovis Notches uh, performing. But right now, without further ado, I would like to introduce in a most humble and gracious manner, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Trooper. to the music of Greg Trooper and a little shuffling of microphone muffles. Please continue. Oh, okay. Let's do, uh, let's do biologically blue. This is called Biologically Blue. Think about it. I'm thinking. <laughs> Somebody said She's biologically blue No matter how long you wait 
you'll never work it through I don't care what they say Yeah, you can call me crazy too I've fallen deep in love with a girl Biologically blue Nobody knows The way that she feels Everybody talks about her Over their Sunday meal She had a heart of gold Not a heart of steel So when her heart was broken once It never healed How I love her so I know she tries to let me know she knows But only her sadness shows I know she'll love again I just can't say how soon Maybe when the morning breaks Maybe by the next full moon So go ahead Roll your eyes Yeah, you can call me crazy too Falling deep in love with a girl Biologically blue Greg Trooper, performing live here on WFMU's Music Faucet. Greetings, gentlemen. How That's, are you? I, I guess I should properly introduce Greg Trooper and the Flatirons. There you go. These are a couple of the Flatirons out here. Two uh, out of three. Two, two out, out of three. three. That's Not bad. your batting average yeah. for East Orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long ways. <laughs> I understand. You lose them on the way, I realize that. Greg, you... Uh, you seem, do you consider yourself a songwriter? Is that, I mean, is that what you are first and foremost? Do you write songs? As opposed to like a performer and singer? Well, or, it just seems or, like you're, yeah, I guess so. Is that? I, uh, I think of myself as a guy who sings and writes songs, uh -huh. or writes songs and sings. Do you write with other people often? Yeah. Mm, it sort of goes in waves. Uh -huh. Right now I'm in a, I'm in a solo wave. D uh, do many other people cover your material? Is that I've had a few. There's, uh, there's been a few. Moore O'Connell cut one. Uh huh. She and Steve Earle cut one. A guy named Vince Gill cut one. Uh huh. And Billy Bragg cut one. Goodness. Yeah. And I've that's just a few. That's a. That's it's actually four. Yeah. That's four. <laughs> and uh, tens of thousands of others. <laughs> Congratulations. Are on the way. <laughs> 
But so, that's that's where uh, I've had maybe gained any sort of uh, ground on my career. Would you say? Uh, that, would do you, should you be in Nashville? No, I shouldn't. No, is New York a? a I should be in New York. A ripe and fertile. They told me move. For they, I was living in Manhattan. They said you should leave New York. I went to Brooklyn. <laughs> Smart <laughs> move. <laughs> Brooklyn, a fine town. Yeah. A nice place to visit. Yeah, that, there's, it, the, the thing about the tree is true. Mm -hmm. One grows there. <laughs> Just one, ladies okay. and gentlemen. And uh, I want everyone in Radio Land to know that that tree is located on the corner of North First <laughs> and Bedford Avenue. And it is sitting there proudly growing. It's one of those weed trees. You know, they should say that there should be a book, A Tree Grows in West Texas. Because you, you'd be hard-pressed to find one out there. Are you familiar with West Texas? Yeah, I lived in Austin for a while and would travel out there to work. And wow, was that a satisfying place to to play as uh, a performer? Yeah, actually, it's been I've been down there recently. It's been more satisfying for me recently. Mm -hmm. Where when I was down there, it was quite a while ago. And uh, let's just say that my youth uh, called out for other things than paying attention to what I wanted to do. <laughs> And what you want to do is write and yeah, perform. Yeah, Why don't you right. perform some more songs okay. for us right now, yeah. without hesitation? Well, yeah, Greg Trooper and the Flatirons performing live here on WFMU's Palatial Airwaves. This is called Steal Away. Does your mom call for help every morning And then hide behind a veil of true love Knew she's always believed As long as you never leave Come on darling, steal away, away with me Like hell off the water By a boat walk hand in hand on the beach You wanna try life on your own well, It's not hard out on the soul Come on darling steal away away with me Did you find that old Escaped her, and how you're the only life she's ever known. Just the sound of her voice, and you feel like you don't have a choice. Come on, darling, steal away, away with me. Darling, steal away. Come 
Come on, darling, steal it away. Come on, darling, steal away. Wait with me. Steal away. You're listening to the music of Greg Trooper and the Flatirons. And these gentlemen, I understand why they're called the Flatirons. They're st solid, stalwart gentlemen who are accompanying Greg uh, in the performance of these uh, songs with a sort of a, a, a flatness <laughs> unparalleled in... You know, uh, uh, we really used the flat irons because um, we thought the tall, skinny building sounded funny. <laughs> it sure does. It sounds awfully funny. So the, the flat iron that you're missing is Kenneth Blevins, who's your general uh, percussion yeah, drummer. Yeah, he, uh, he did the drumming on our latest record, and he is our drummer of choice. Mm -hmm. He is now, though, out on tour with Sean Colin. So Speaking of your latest record, I have here in my hands an album by Greg Trooper with the flat irons entitled Everywhere. And the amazing thing about this record, it's, uh, it's on Black Hole Records, and it's not available in any store. <laughs> now, there I, actually is one in somewhere near Phoenix. I don't know why. There seems to be a growing trend <laughs> among musicians to release compact discs that are not available in well, any store. Why we, is that? We, we actually are available through the Hear Music Catalog. Oh, the Hear Music Catalog, right. which is a, sort of an unusual... Attempt yeah. at marketing music, that's, sort of in, yeah. the, in a niche. That's unusual. That's why we're there, because <laughs> that seems to be what we are drawn to the most is the unusual. But uh, it's going to be released into stores in the fall, so we're mm -hmm. kind of happy about that. That's new news we just got. Is this an unusual venue for you, playing on the radio in East Orange, New Jersey? It's yeah. In fact, I've never played on a radio in East Orange. Have you played on the radio, ever. other other radio programs? I, I have, yeah. I did a couple in Norway, actually. Mm -hmm. That was real different. I didn't know what was going on at all. <laughs> well, I'd like to tell... Unlike here, I know what's going on somewhat. Somewhat, because it's, it's close to home, and you know that you're going to at least be able to go home and car. go to bed. <laughs> you drove here. Everything's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again... Greg Trooper with the flat irons. This is uh, called Up to Me. Who do you think you are telling me I'm too suspicious? Who do you think you are Telling me I'm superstitious If it was up to me You'd be against the law If it was up to me You'd be against the law Who do you think you are Fulfilling my secret wishes Who do you think you are Making me feel uneasy Who do you think you are Telling me it's too damn If it was up to me, you'd be against the law. If it was up to me, I'd freak you up inside a wall. Who do you think you are? You're the only one who's ever pleased me. My tongue gets tied up in a knot. So my words, they make no sense My fly is down, my guard is up My hands are shaking Who do you think you are? If 
everything I say you mind Who do you think you are? Just keep going when I beg you to stop it If it was up to me In this court of kangaroos If it was up to me I'd throw the book at you Who do you think you are? Keeping my heart in your palm My tongue gets tied up in a knot So my words it make no sense My fly is down and my guard is up My hands are shaking Who do you think you are? Whatever I do, you do better If it was up to me, you'd be against the law. If it was up to me, you'd be against the law. Who do you think you are? I can't stand it when we're not together. If it was up to me If it was up to me If it was up to me Now I need you more than ever That was Up To Me, by me. As opposed to Up To Me. That was Abel Dominguez on the guitar. Sounds great. It did sound great. In fact, everything that's going on here this evening sounds just swell. We like playing here. It's kind of a warm and relaxed... The only thing I wish was that you all could be out in the backyard playing. We should really do that sometime. Summer is coming on. We should have a backyard barbecue and... And FMU, barbecue. Broadcast. Yeah, great idea. We did it once before, but it rained. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it when it doesn't rain. <laughs> okay. It was still fun, but the bands had to play under a tarp. We should warn you, every gig we do, it rains. Oh, really? You're listening to the music of Greg Trooper with the Flatirons, minus one. Yeah, this one's called uh, Wouldn't That Be Love. It's, uh, it's about a girlfriend I had who left me, so I stalked her. <laughs> Oops. Followed you home Your work day's done Wait for you to come out Cause you're meeting someone See so you look in his eyes And your lips finally touch If I don't say a thing Wouldn't that be love If I dialed your home you pick up the call I don't say a thing I just listen, that's all The 
crack in your voice Just before you hang up If I don't call you back Wouldn't that be love? Wouldn't that be love? Wouldn't that be love? Call you back Wouldn't that be love? Some show love with a flower And some show love with a kiss And some charge for love by the hour My love goes further than this They have no idea Try to explain the paper and pen when I write down your name, you start crying again. So I write page upon page the most hateful stuff. If I don't mail it out. And the flat irons with the flat irons. Is it and the flat irons or with the flat irons? What's the correct terminology here? Well, it's it's with. Okay. But it's it's only with because sometimes I have to go solo. Solo. Mm -hmm. And then we've confused people. These people in Phoenix where they got the record, they don't want to confuse them. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Definitely. Um this week in, in uh, New York City, there's a, a uh, sort of a week-long event called Country Takes Manhattan. And I just want to mention to everyone out in Radioland and, all, and to the performers as well that this uh, Country Takes East Orange has nothing to do with the <laughs> other similarly titled uh, festival going on in Manhattan, entitled Country Takes Manhattan. Tonight's performance uh, uh, with Greg Trooper with the Flatirons and uh, coming up in, the sh in a little short while, Clovis Noches is part of an, an evening-long series entitled Country Takes East Orange, right here on WFMU's Palatial Airwaves. This is the Music Fawcett WFMU's weekly live music program coming to you from the studios of WFMU Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. My name is Nick Hill, and you're listening to the music of Greg Trooper with the Flat Irons. A combo of great renown in these parts. Hey, do you all have any uh, concerts and or gigs coming up in the not-too-distant future? Not in this area. Mm -hmm. no, we're Phoenix. Going, there's, there's, <laughs> there's a big concert in Phoenix okay. being planned now. <laughs> store An in-store, It's, it's huh? the Flatiron Festival, in fact. <laughs> no, we, uh, I'm going down to Texas to do some dates. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back, hopefully there'll be some in the midsummer, or late summer, or fall. We'll be doing stuff in the city. Where, what sort of venues do you play often it's, in this town? Uh, like the Bottom Line mm -hmm. and Tramps, and uh, we play the Rodeo Bar sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, we play Patty Riley's, the, the, mm -hmm. the um. blessed home of uh, Black Forty Seven. It's it's, uh, <laughs> it's unbelievable there, but uh, we play there once in a while. It's uh, that's a lot of fun. A lot of people full of 
inebriation. Yeah, that's it. They don't hold back. Let's put it that way. Mm-hmm. The party in kind. <laughs> Well, please continue. Don't let me interrupt your performance. This is, a, this is actually one I wrote with Steve Earle. Oh, it's great. called I Thought I Was Dreaming. Is this on your, on your this latest is on album? The, uh, the one that can't be found. It's on there. Called Everywhere. Uh, that's the name now, of the album. Now, wait a second. The album is on Black Hole Records, Records, and it's called Everywhere. So it's either Everywhere or it's... It's, it's nowhere. In a black that, that's actually, you know, <laughs> see how things happen? We didn't even realize how, how profound we were being. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Well, I'm here to point it out well, to you and the rest of the world. What? I didn't name the record company. I just fell in the hole. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> they just sucked me in. It was actually it was okay. Once again, Greg Trooper with the flat iron.
coming, Nick. We're just changing guitars. No rush. It's just, uh, we're having a relaxed evening here at the radio studio. Just treat this place as you would your living room. Ireland. What's it about? Girl from Brooklyn. Oh. A cool summer rain frees us from the heat. Full moon rise lights the darkened street. Just like you. Just like you I live With your mandolin Fills up the hole Not a dry eye You kill them all It's just like you just like you, I am. I don't need weapons. I don't need shields. I don't need control of the driving wheel. Now when I'm with you, now when I'm with you, I am. Like you, it's just like you. I
Greg Trooper and the Flat Irons. Thanks, Nick. Hey, thank you for coming down. It's a great time. Yeah, thank great. you very much. Uh, you're listening to the Music Faucet here. And, uh, Greg, why don't you come in and have a chat while we set up this okay. other combo? Yeah. Coming up in just a few short moments, we have uh, Clovis Noches all the way from Clovis, Brooklyn, a small neighborhood which is just sort of finding its feet in the Brooklyn vicinity. Um you're listening to WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. This program is entitled The Music Faucet and is a weekly live music program on these airwaves, um, exclusively live, although occasionally we do other kinds of bizarre entertainment for your listening pleasure. My name's Nicholas Hill, and tonight's program was, is ably engineered by one Ms. Irene Trudell with assistance from Laura Cantrell. And uh, coming up in just a few short moments, like I said, Clovis Noches. Uh, I would also like to briefly mention that uh, Greg Tuper, who just uh, performed, has an album out with the Flat Irons entitled Everywhere on Black Hole, and it's available through the Here catalog, Here Music Catalog, which is a catalog of music available uh, through the mail. And I don't know how to find it. Also, I want to also mention that in addition to Abel Dominguez on guitars and Greg Shirley, the Flatirons generally include Kenneth Blevins, who's at home practicing on his drum pad. We, Greg, yeah. why don't you sit yourself in that chair right there, right, right where that gentleman is. <laughs> and um, uh, I guess we should have had Kenneth phone in his drum part. <laughs> All he would have had to do is plug in the radio and uh, put on headphones and play right into the telephone. You know, there we go. I lost I'm, you for a second. Oh, I'm, I'm there now. now you're I wanted to tell you that there are a couple of phone numbers mm -hmm. I, I can give you. Please do. Actually, don't give, don't give them to me. Give them to our audience Okay, I'll right do this. Uh, now, actually. Audience, if you're interested in acquiring this album titled Everywhere by Greg Cooper and the Flatirons, get your pens and pencils <laughs> ready. You know, uh, you can call 212-307-1015. Now, Greg, is that your home number? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Black Hole Records. Oh, great. It's not, okay. my, it's not actually my place. Oh, good. It's, actu it's an actual place, an actual office with people. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can also call the Here catalog to order it, and that's it. Uh, you can dial 1-800-959-HERE, H-E-A-R. I've forgotten that already. 1-800-959-HERE, H-E-A-R. Now, how did, how did this record, which is not available in any store, <laughs> end up in the Here music catalog? Well, believe it or not, we... Um, we had this this relationship with them where they decided to take it for uh, a couple of issues before we put it into the store. Mm -hmm. so it was sort of this the black hole big marketing. Oh wow! Well. Fantastic marketing scheme they had. And no, it's, I it's, think it's working out. I think quite it's well. admirable because, frankly, I think many uh, music fans have given up on shopping in record stores for records mm -hmm. because generally they don't find what they're looking for, yeah. and it's all at twice the price as it right. should be anyway. Right. Right. Um, I wanted to ask you some, uh, about your songwriting. Is it something that you have been doing all your life? Is it uh, uh, something that comes naturally, or is it is it a struggle? I think uh, it's it's can't answer that. Okay, don't. Uh, <laughs> but it comes naturally. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think it. But it's also a real struggle sometimes. Sometimes it's six songs to get one, you know? mm -hmm. and. Uh, just I I just always sang and I learned to play guitar and I always played guitar and I listened to a certain type of music and just got kind of just in it and, and but, fell in it and couldn't get out of it and but, loved it. <laughs> and your songs have been well received by people who are well known. Mm -hmm. How does that come to pass? I mean, how is it? Yeah, I think it was from playing playing around constantly for a long time mm -hmm. plus making a record we made a record in uh, like 87 and uh, that came out and didn't didn't really get anywhere 
except through the radios. It made it to a lot of, you know, college radio. And uh, Steve Earle got his hands on it, and he brought it to his manager, who liked it, and his ma and, and Steve started bringing it to his publisher, and they liked it, and, and Steve liked the song, so he cut it. So uh, it just it's really just being active in the community mm -hmm. of music making, you know, I think. And the, and it's set in New York. Actually, is a, a good place to work as a songwriter. It is for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not. I, I I've gone down to Nashville, and I go down there now and again. I have friends and sort of a group of people I, I work with down there. Um, but I just have the wrong accent for a, a Nashville record label. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll be, as we're getting ready here, I wanted to ask our illustrious engineer to, to come over here and, and assist in preparing for the next combo to appear on these airwaves. I also want to mention to the folks out in Radioland that this uh, broadcast this evening is being taped on audio tape as well as videotape, a new technology, video radio. No, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. Forgive me. <laughs> Brief intrusion into our conversation. How are we doing, Irene? We're doing fine. Okay. I think we're just about safe today. You mean you've got a mix and you haven't even touched the board? <laughs> <laughs>